What's going on, people? Tebs Weekly, episode number 14. It's Monday, and as a regular occurrence on Monday, I am sat in the office just doing editing, ready to get episode 13 out to you. You should have already watched that, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, there's nothing going on. Dad's not in the garage today either. So, normal week starts on Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely. It's Tuesday. First day me and Dad are out here. Um, usual stuff for the Tuesday. Well, not on a Tuesday, but on the first day out here. Unloading the van. Stuff we need to unload. Dad's going to do a write-up in the book because, obviously, the meeting we had on Saturday wasn't a bad meeting. Wasn't the best meeting we've had. But we learned a lot. Obviously, we tried a few things. It didn't work. So we went back to sort of... To be honest, we went back to King's Lynn setup, which is, it's not, it's not a similar track, it's close enough, but anyway, so we went from, we started with a Mildenhall setup, because we went really well there, and then we ended up on our uh, King's Lynn setup in the last one, and it seemed to work, so we got a write down in the book, ready for the next time we go there. So it's so definitely a learning curve, obviously I'm still learning on shale as well. Really, I'm not. I'm not the best driver on shale, but I do what I got to do. Um, else today, we're probably going to try and make a start on getting the rest of the bars in. There's a few extra bars on this Civic that need to go in. Uh, we need to plate up the floor, and there's there's a few other jobs before the fuel tank goes in. So we want to try and get them done first. That'll probably lead on to tomorrow as well. So I don't look like there's much damage on the Corsa. I don't think there's any. There's a couple of crap welds. But other than that, she's probably, she's another, an evening or two and she's ready to go again. Milled and all, whether I take it or dad takes it, who knows. But yeah, that's Tuesday. Nylon spacers, boot pin mount, that's the same, bonnet pins, isn't it? Boot pin mount? No, that's the back. That's the back one. So I've got bonnet pins. Bonnet pins, they're drilled the wrong way. I don't know why. They need to be drilled that way. So we can put the bungee in there. Yeah. That's what that's for. Right. Belts. Need so to order belts. Need to order belts. They're coming within a day or two. Yeah. Roll cage. Not Roll finished. cage still not finished, no. Cut bar out. That's done. That's a lot more than done, that bit. Check engine mount. What, that bad boy? That bad boy. She ain't going nowhere. And the other one, at the back, from the engine. Yeah. What, well, the solid mounted one? Yeah. That one. There's a bolt missing. Yeah. That's just... Rear brake. That's just a recipe for disaster anyway, that one. Yeah, it might have to be cut off. And something done with it. So we've just had a tidy up. Hoovered the lot. Um, Dad's even hoovered the car as well. Just going through the list of what's left to do on here. It's still a long, long list. And we've worked out a few things that we need to order ready for this week. So I don't think we're gonna be doing much on the car today. Let's say we've just tidied up. When you're rushing around last week, trying to make it out for the meeting, the garage just gets on top of you in the end. And there's just crap everywhere. So it takes a day like this just to tidy everything back up, put everything away properly and give it a bit of a clean. So. so just one of the jobs, Dad's just adjusting the rear brakes because the pedal goes quite far down although it's all bled up. So he's just adjusting them, seeing if he can get that any better. I stopped them there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels alright. Normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, feels fine. Feels like it'd be a good break in there. Yeah. Just had to check the 
take some slack out of the wings. See how deep, see if I could lay it down. pressure you got on that tyre as well. That's the, that's the lowest bit. Well, it's fine. Oh, she not look low, didn't she? Does look low, yeah. I think we said this last time, though, when it was out. How low it looks. It is really low. It's a cruiser. We used to the roof being up here, weren't we? Oh, no, yeah. Such weird cars, isn't it? I think um, it's, it's like there, isn't it? You look at that thing. It's like head fine. What do you want to... Oh, look at that shot. What? Shot. Ah. Oh. Chat. Missed out a washer on that. <laughs> we'll have a look at that now. Put that gun up here. We're gonna put all our cups on camera. Well, <laughs> there's a few anyway. Yeah, we're short footage. Right. What's that? A big one on there. Is that a 14, 14. still? That's what we was missing. That rubber and that washer there. But we found it. So. Hold it there. Yeah. That seems easier. So that, where's that ride height tool? There's less bounce on this side, so let's see. Oh yeah. Lovely. Uh, That'll do for tonight. Me and Dad are quite tired to be honest. I've had a couple of late nights. Early mornings. I didn't finish work till five, quarter past five. I didn't get to dad's till just before seven. So, but we've got all the jobs we need to get done today. 
say first day is always a slow day and tomorrow we're now ready to crack on. So see you tomorrow. It's Tuesday. It's quarter past six. I've just turned up to dad's. Um, I finished work late again. But it is what it is. Um, and the thing is, he's quite strict, my old man, with making noise after eight o'clock. He never used to be as strict as this, but obviously he's trying to keep all the neighbours happy because we do make quite a bit of noise sometimes. So just got to try and keep them as happy as possible. Um, which means I just get less time to do all the metal work stuff. So I've got a shoot in there now. Try and get as much of it done as I can before eight, half eight. So first job out here today, one of the few jobs we've got to do before we put the fuel tank in is this bar, this diagonal bar going to the back left corner. We use that to mount the boot this on this car, obviously the courses we, and, the, and the Adams don't actually have boots that you can take off, but this car does. So obviously we have to have two bits on there for the bonnet, the boot to sit on, not the bonnet, sorry, for the boot to sit on. And then obviously put, we put pins in it to stop the boot flying off and that allows us to get access to the fuel tank and the battery and etc. cetera. Um, but obviously this car used to run leaf springs on but now, obviously, we've never run them, so when we got this car, we changed the leaf springs on this side to just a normal wheel guard. But the wheel guard that I've put in is slightly in the way of that bar, so I'm going to have to cut around that and try and smarten that up, try and get that tidy enough. So that's the first job today. So I'm just looking at this bar here and you can't really see it on the screen, but it's not level at all, uh, up and down. Like the, it, it goes right up on the left hand side there. So they're not gonna meet up perfectly unless I start cutting into the triangle piece on the left, back left side, the, tri the bar going down that strengthens it all up unless I cut round that, which I don't really wanna do because it's very time consuming and it's not really benefiting anything. So I'm thinking of a way of how to make it level on that right hand side. So that's, that's what I'm coming up with now. So I'm just trying to eye this bar in at the minute. Obviously, I, it can only go in one place on the left-hand side, so I'm trying to eye it in as straight as I can to the plate that I've already welded on. Obviously, there's nowhere for me to measure off, and we always try to get it bang on just for it to get smashed up in one race, but that's stock car racing. While I was doing that, Dad was making a start on the roof, chopping out the bit where we put the new 3 mil plate in. That was in the way, obviously, still. So he's chopped out that bit and started scurfing it all. Right, so I've cleaned up the roof panel, both sides, and I've cleaned up the side where it's going to be welded on. I've cut pieces out from under the roof panel where the steel plate goes, where the new steel plate is, so it fits nice going to cut two strips of plate uh, 1.2 mil and we're going to cover the join with that and then scurf it down uh, weld it up seam weld it and scurf it down and paint it, it should be fine that look good done that both sides so as we can see this side should seems thicker this side it might it might go with a weld we'll give it a try see what happens right so let's cut some strips 
34. So that's the idea anyway. Clean it up a bit more, weld that on, and then have a go up that end. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even see. Oh, very good. To the opposite. You pushing it? I'll push it. Push it, push it. Who wants to get burned? Go on, I'll get Go burned. on. Rise. Rise. Right, I'll tap that down a time. I'll tap that into place and then. I'll get that bit done. What, first? Yeah, yeah go on. Then. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's get a hammer. Do you want to strip underneath it? Yeah, I'll put a strip on top. Just on this bit here. You just put a strip there. Alright. Tiny one. Like my birthday, what do you think? Go on, blow it out. Yay! strengthening as well. Just small bar going down there. Because mm. as soon as you hit something, it's gonna to want to move, isn't it? <laughs> this is what you've got to deal with. They've drilled the hole too low, but anyway, it comes off. 
<laughs> just trim the top off. <laughs> Luckily, always keep one spare in the garage and one spare in the van. So tonight I'll order another one to replace this one. You jinxed it, Papa. Why? Right out of wire. There should be one spare in the van as well. Yeah. But I will check. I got these bars at 30 by 30 to go in. Um, obviously, originally it didn't have it, and both of the uprights to keep the bonnet out, to keep the bonnet secure, are both bent as anything. So obviously, they do need some. I'm just going to put an angle, a bit of 30 by 30 to stop them moving, or hopefully stop them moving. That was not bad. That is not bloody bad. Not swearing. For a first go there. Tiny bit of tweaking on that. I'll probably just take that edge off there. She's ready. <laughs> So while I was doing all of that, we had Dad making the new switch plate, drilling the holes for all the, three, the two new switches and the new button. He stripped out the old switch plate, got rid of that, chucked that in the bin, and sorted all the wiring out ready for the new one.
Yeah, all right. That's Papa telling me that I've got to stop. Times five to nine. Haven't really got any quiet jobs to do. So that's Wednesday done and dusted. I got there late today, um, but luckily, I had a load of motivation in me to do these late nights. I say now time is quarter to 10. I'm on my way home. <laughs> to do them late nights, especially after working late and doing long day at work, you need motivation. And luckily I've got some motivation in me at the minute because otherwise you just can't do it. No matter how many coffees you have, how many energy drinks, energy drinks you have, you just, you end up flagging and you can't do it. But. I've got a load of motivation at the minute, trying to get this Civic done, trying to get it out. I want to see how it goes, especially after seeing Jack Howard at the weekend in his one. It was absolutely flying, so it'll be good to finally get this one back out. Yeah, it's, just, it's one of them. I'm not in the garage tomorrow. I'm busy doing other stuff. Dad should be out there, so I'm sure he'll keep you company and keep the ball rolling in the urge to get this Civic ready for Mildenall. Also, there could be two cars out at Mildenall. So, that would be the Corsa and the Civic, both out of Mildenall. Hopefully, if everything goes right in the garage this week and next week, it would be nice to see two cars back out there. Both red and black. And both giving it some. I'll see you tomorrow. Apologies about the sound in this next bit. There's other firms that are working on this yard and they were listening to some heavy death metal music really loud so apologies for that let's continue here he is man in a moment what day is it thursday we're trying to find some speed out of jack's car oh nice i'll try to get a spinner out of my hand <laughs> Trying to find some speed out of Jack's car, he's been struggling the last few meetings. We just found out the right front shock was blown, so he's put a new one of them on. And he can't actually remember how many packers he's had in before, he hadn't written anything down. So we're whacking it on scales now and see if we can get back to where it was when he was winning. Hey boy. When? 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 <laughs> many moons ago. <laughs> I've got three. Oh, <laughs> He's always on his phone, isn't he? <laughs> Get off! <laughs> 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 How did you get out of that? You're supposed to be PG, aren't you? I had two late days, didn't I? So, <laughs> go away with that. Alright, ready? No, 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 no. One more time. Funny we had Jeff helping, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorted. Now he gets off the phone. Make sure you can hear what you're seeing. That's fast. That's the place to be, that is. <laughs> place fast. To be. Packers massively boys. Also cover that When's this? Since when, though? 
Demora, demora. Guess push, Jeff. Oh, what a man. What a man, what a man. What a mighty good man. Mighty, mighty good man. <laughs> Push your back this time. <laughs> Ready? Stick it down there, Tebs, if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take it out. Ha ha! I don't. I want my spinning wheel. Got him. <laughs> He's nuts. <laughs> Can you hold this fan on, please? That's how I got it. She brought it to racing and I took it back. What's well, a stump on here? Show it now. Days and the naughty animals. Days and the naughty animals. Go on, son. I don't even think you'd get copyrighted because you can't even understand what the song is. <laughs> or what, the words are. what are you on about? That is bleak music. <laughs> <laughs> probably go with that. I mean, Mildred looks going to be different anyway. You're not going to. I mean, you're going to see it. It's different. I'll probably start with that, and you know which way you've got to go. Yep, I'll wipe that down now. Yeah, wipe that down, take a picture. So that was a lot of messing about. He was miles away from when we set it up last time. Oops, sorry, mate. From when we set it up last time. Yeah, when was the last time you put it on scales? When, first built when you first got it. So that was. How old is it? It's over a year old, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably been a year since he's been on scales, and he's absolutely miles away now. And it shows in the handling of the car at the minute. It's it's not handling right, and he's just probably gotten further and further away. So he's had a new axle in there since, new front end bits, new shocks, new bottom arms. So that's why it's always good to whack it back on scales, especially if you're not performing or if you are performing. So that was worth doing. Finished work a bit early, so Jeff asked if I could help Jack, obviously try and get that car back to where it was. And obviously the first thing you go to is the scales, as without even realising you could end up being miles away, especially if you're not putting on for a long time. So it's definitely worth doing. There was a lot of tinkering about to try and get it right. Um, I think he's going to go try try to go practice at some point next week to see if it's any better. 
Uh, I would like to try and go with him, but obviously work depending. I'm very busy at work at the minute, clearly. Uh, I'm not in the garage today. I'm just driving home now. I've got stuff to do at home, and I'm probably this evening get the Northampton video, get that finished, hopefully, or get that roughly finished tonight, ready to release tomorrow on Friday. Uh, I don't know if Dad's out in the garage today. Obviously, you'll see him after this. If he is, fair play to him. Go on, Papa. Take him on for the team while I'm not there. Um, hopefully, if I, if I can get this video done tonight, then I will be in the garage tomorrow, but we'll, we'll have to see. So that's the catwalk done. Was it photo shoot catwalk? Catwalk. Oh, yeah. So that's the catwalk done. Uh, as I say, we're going to get some more team wear, but... I just wanted to make sure I was ordering good enough clothes, really, because we have been stung before. Not stung, but they're not as good as what I thought they would be. So we found the two that we want, the T-shirt and the jumper. We're happy with them. Yeah, yeah, good. They fit all right. They say a couple of them didn't fit too well. So we found the right ones. Now that stuff's out of the way, uh, time to crack on with this car. Just going to have a look at this switch panel now to start with. That's fine. There rather than there? Mate, it's not any difference. No, okay. There, it's fine. Could even put so oh, the wiring's already there, isn't it? Yeah, but I can move it that way. No, I just meant oh, right. putting them up there where we normally have them. Well, anything it's, that's possible. It's just a force of habit of, of reaching okay. up there in the other three cars that we got. Yeah, I can do that. Um, that that would go up there. Yeah. I know, I know what will happen. You're in emergency, not emergency, but in you the middle of race, yeah. you need it. And I'll be like, oh, no, they're not down there, they're down there. Yeah, and then yeah. that could be the difference. Between coming last and second from last. Yeah, pretty much. If I need to do that, then I'm probably in last. Yeah. Right. And if there's, a, if there's only eight of you in the race, yeah, that's, a point. that's a point, isn't it? That's a point, yeah. yeah. So, although it's longer... I think realistically they they should be better. I they would be they will be better up there. These wires can go up and over, up on the inside of this roll cage, right? Maybe, and then these these wires that are coming from under the bonnet can go up that way. That's a big one. They can all meet in the middle. Yep, definitely. So that go up there, like all the rest of our cars. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be right, wouldn't it? That looks smart, that. Yeah. That's so much better, isn't it? Yeah. We use these switches, these isolators, rather than these switches, because these will 100% let you down. It won't be straight away today or tomorrow, but they when will you, let you down. When you need them, you're going yeah. out for a championship, and that button doesn't work, and you like that underneath the bloody bit of metal trying to get it started oh it's just stress you don't need so we've moved on to yeah. the isolators yeah. definitely one day they will let you down as hang on, even hang on. john Barnwell, jake Barnwell, they have now moved to isolators after watching that video of dad sorting it out because he had a problem at king's Lynn, whereas them old oh, switches yeah. let him down and he lost the race because of it yeah even the fan the fan switch go so that gets an isolator as well they will mess you up at some point They've done but to these, us many these, times. These have never let us down, have they? I will keep this on file yeah, for when that really. isolator lets us down and I will show you oh. that video. He said it now. But yeah, no, so that's, we're just going to so get that. So far. We're going to get that mounted now. In the last couple of years. Yeah. Right. While Dad's doing that, the switch panel, he's sorting that out. I've got an easy job, just drilling a hole there for the bonnet pin because I've cut it down because it was about way, way too high. So I'm just going to drill that now. And then there was a few other bits on the back to finish off as well. I want to start doing a job and we can't find a bloody drill driver. I need the battery off it. Usual stuff. <laughs> I 
Right, I'm not gonna lie, that was it. That was all we'd done today in the garage. Uh, basically, Dad, we ordered an Indian, and um, me, my mum, my dad, and my sister, they all live at Dad's, ordered an Indian Friday night, and we sat down at dinner, and we just started with a chat, basically, and ended up being like a two, what's the time now? The time's, time's 25 to 11. Ended up being a two to three hour meeting, quote on meeting or chat about YouTube, about ideas to make the YouTube better, ideas for the videos. Ended up being very unproductive in the garage and we didn't get anything done. So it was just, it's just one of them nights, didn't, didn't really do anything, just chatting, but it's productive still. And uh, moving forward, we should have loads more content coming in the future. So that's my Friday night. I'm just on the way home now. I will not. I will not be in the garage Saturday or Sunday. I'm working both days, and then I've got other stuff to be getting on with at home. Plenty of stuff to be getting on with at home, to be honest. It's it's, it's hard work trying to balance the racing and obviously normal life but hopefully dad will be out in the garage this weekend so this ain't the end of Tebs weekly this week dad should be out in the garage this weekend doing plenty of filming there's plenty to get on with in a push to try and get two cars ready for Mildenhall next Saturday so that's me <laughs> Anyway, if we were to take that out of there, it could travel up that that bar. But it's not in. Yeah. It might it's, reach. How it. short is it? Just, just. Yeah. Let's see if it goes through there. Yes. Oh. Go on. I like it. Solutions, not problems. Then we can use the existing wiring. Run that up that new bar that's going in there today. It's not there yet. Nice. Up to the new switch plate going up there. Oh yes. Sweet. What's that feeding? Oh that's the earth. <clears throat> Sunday. I did say I weren't gonna come out here this weekend, but I managed to get done what I needed to get done. And I'm allowed to come play with stock cars. Uh, 22 4 at the minute, so late start, but we're here. We're gonna put shift in. Usual work continues. Dad's gonna carry on with the wiring. I think the back's all done now. And then this middle bar that was just chatting about a minute ago, I'm gonna start bending that one up and get that in so then Dad can run this wire up for it. Up for it? Up on it. <laughs> Flip to it. Sure. I've got a feeling this is not going to like being welded. I was fighting a losing battle here, man. There was no chance I was going to get a weld on some of the bottom of this panel here. It had so much sealant and crap on it. But I kept trying until in the end I thought I need a new idea. Alright, change of plan. I'm going to scurf off up here, there and there. And I'm just going to do a thin, thin bit of plate down from there to there. Because all under there is just sealant. And there's no way you're going to get a weld on that. So... Thirty mil. Thirty mil. You can
So now I've got the body welded back to the side irons, the metalwork. Uh, now it's time to scurf up the back, measure up for the plates I need to cut on the guillotine, and then weld them on. So right now I'm just patching up the hole in the side of the car here. The reason for this hole is because these roofs aren't bolt on bolt off like the Radom and the Corsa. If you was to repair this back left corner like I've done and you have to cut inside the car, it's actually a real big nightmare because you can't get a disc cutter in there, you struggle to get the plasma cutter in there. So in the end you have to cut the panel out, part of the panel off and <laughs> do the repairs you need to do and then put the panel back in so that's that's the problem with not having a bolt off roof it's just a lot more effort and if this car was all sign written up then i would be quite annoyed but because it isn't it doesn't really matter so before i weld the new switch plate in dad's got to put all the switches into it and wire them up properly so then he can literally and he'll keep them all together take them out of the switch plate we can then weld that in where it's got to go and then once it's cooled back down, we can then install all that will all be together and that will all be installed back into the switch plate and they'll all be ready to go. Oh, this is gonna burn me. Yeah, you're gonna get burnt. Take that out, I'm gonna sit there. Because I am getting burned. There is no room in here. I'm not moving the roll cage again. Ow! <laughs> Maybe tilt. Uh... You wanted to be able to get behind there, didn't you? Yeah. Um, you can put a little tilt on it though, I think. Oh. Do you want a hammer? Grips? Eyes. Yep. Boys. Yep. Yeah, I'll have a the hammer. The hammer's I've got it out. Oh. Uh, it could be anywhere then. Time machine. Yeah. It's got flat surface syndrome. We need that bar in now, don't we? Yeah, I'll pretty much I've got one more bit of welding to do on the back, and then we'll do that bar. Unless you, well, you can start bending it. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll take that roof back off. Oh my god, I'm yawning. We need a beer or a coffee, don't we? Yeah. Hmm? What's 
my breath goes up. If I cut that now, shape it. I don't know if you need to. Ah, no need to cut that, do you? That's going to go up. We need, need that. No, just the bottom there. That triangle there. Not triangle. Take a triangle off it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. These are. How's this go again? Oh. oh yes. Very nice. Paint it another day. It's probably not even going to get painted, is it? Let's <laughs> <laughs> be, be serious. serious. You might. If you what, if we get a spare ten minutes? Yeah. Ooh. I do. Just scurf the edges off. Because I no doubt I'm going to smack my head straight on that. Alright then. Um, screwdriver for that. Get your scarf off. All the electricians at work recognise that. Mm -hmm. You can sort it out after, can't you? Yeah. It's ready to go then, just put them switches on. Very nice. Rear tin can be wiped off. Wheel guard is just a bit of plain. Where's rear tin? Yeah. Wheel guard. Missing weld on the I'll front. probably do the wheel guard today, definitely, wherever that is. Uh, Miss Weld on the front. Second one down. Plate, plate wheel, wheel guard. guard, yeah, them two. I'll do that one and bonnet pins today. Definitely get them two off the list. Right, what's the next one? Re remove anti roll bars, not going to happen. It's a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. That's just going to stay there, but it's just not going to get done. No. Uh, scale. Weld on. Don't need to scale it yet. Does that say roof? Weld on roof plate, but that's, that's just. Done. Yeah, but it's. You've still got to sort the roof out, haven't you? You've got a tab to weld on on that roof still, so that can stay on there for that. Okay. Until that roof goes on. Well, all right. Um, that mate, might go on tomorrow night. Mate, nylon spacers. Yeah. 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 Belts. You didn't order them, did you? Oh. You haven't did, ordered them. Did you go to Speedwork? I didn't. No. I Jeff didn't. Jeff did. I wonder if he's got any in stock. But no, if not, I can get it next day from uh, McGill's. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so belts, you need to order that. Roll cage. Once oh, we I haven't decided what belts we're going for. For them ratchet ones. Yeah, I don't know if we've got no room here at all. Oh. So I'm a bit. Which one are you going to get? And. Well, the, thing, the ratchet ones they've got now, though, are like on the belt. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, all we got to do is take the ones out of that Corsa and have a look. Take them ones out of there, or that bit, and fit it there. That's the same one that we'd buy, that ratchet one. Or I could just buy a harness and we know it's going to fit. It's up to it. 
I just order a normal harness. All right. As a spare. Yeah. Roll cage. It still work. I'm gonna weld that in. It will be. I just once you're used to them ratchet ones, you don't want to go back. But for this car, it'll be alright. It'll be fine. You'll only go in the sub car. <coughs> Roll cage. As soon as I weld that bar in, it's done, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I weld that in in a minute. Right, there's last two or three jobs I want to crack on with today before I go. The easy jobs. <laughs> just to get that list that little bit further down because I'm not here tomorrow. Dad's going to be out here though. A couple of little jobs I can do, isn't there? Yeah. On my own. Yeah. Finish the wiring, fit the tank, and fit this roof. Yeah. And then we rock and roll. Mm. Are we good to... Could it go out on track then? Oh, move this breather. Well, these are jobs, there's three or four jobs there you can do tomorrow on your yeah. own. Three or four there. And I'm just going to... What gonna, episode does that be? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. And then today, well, now, us three, us three. <laughs> that's, that's me, you and your other personality. The drunk one. Patricia. Uh, we're going to, we just whack them last three jobs off now. Wheel guard. Bonnet pins and roll cage. Yeah. Um, just do six and three quarters and seven. Well, six, six and a half and just under seven. Six and a half. Just under seven. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. Sweet. So that is our Sunday done and dusted. Spent a couple of hours at Dad's. Luckily I managed to get there, so I wasn't planning to, but any, every little bit helps when you're putting the shift in. Uh, what did he get done? I've got done a few, a few jobs, you know, it all helps along the way. But I didn't record it, but at the end, when we finished tidying up, we went through the list again, and we found probably another five or six jobs that we've added to it. Say, if we was rushing to get it ready, then we'd have skipped a few of these, but because we, we've got a bit of time now, we're gonna get it right. There's a few, few more that was added. So the list is very, very long. Um, Dad, tomorrow, on Monday, bless him, while I'm editing, he will be out there putting the shift in again, whacking off all the jobs on his own that he can. So we've got a, a definitely got a busy week next week trying to get this, trying to get both cars ready. But still, there's loads of jobs that are getting done. There's loads. Unbelievable amount. Also, thank you everyone who took part on the community tab on the YouTube on my YouTube channel. If you go along where it says home video shorts, there's a community tab there. If you click on there, there's a text poll that comes up and I was just asking people what they preferred, whether it was Tebs Weekly or the meeting videos. And I was quite shocked to be fair, there was a lot, well, I think it was like 74% when I had a look. I pulled it out yesterday and I had a look and it was 74% that said Tebs Weeklies they preferred. A lot of people said both, which I wasn't asking, but thank you anyway. Um, which I was quite shocked about, really. A lot of people like the uh, behind the scenes garage stuff, over the racing stuff. Um, so if you haven't already, click over to the community tab and have a look at our text poll and make sure you get involved. Drop a comment in there as well. I'll be replying to all of them. There's also a lot coming up in the pipeline for this channel and possibly another channel. Me and Dad are loving doing it at the minute, so we've got a few ideas, put our heads together, I've got a few ideas. And um, yeah, I just need a bit of time to film and obviously write up a script for some of these videos that we're gonna do. So something new for the pair of us, but we, we wanna get them out. It's just finding the right amount of time. I need to take some 
Jeff's not going to like this. I need to take some time off from the weekends, weekend work, and um, yeah, put our heads together and get a few scripts done for these videos because they will be good. Got a good, got a few good ideas for this channel. Um, and on that note, that is the end of the video. If you guys do like these, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.